Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to show you how I troubleshoot problems with Store Locator Plus using Firefox and Firebug. Uh, there are other options with other uh, add-ons for uh, Internet Explorer and Chrome. I'm just uh, very familiar with Firefox and Firebug, so that's what I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm sure there's similar options, actually. I know there are in Chrome and Internet Explorer. Um, now, this is the tools that I use. So you can go to getfirebug.com and uh, be able to look at stuff there. Um, I'm going to actually move my window over here. You can see I've got Firebug running. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn on the console. So you'll be able to see uh, what I'm looking at here. Now this is the console for Firebug that just opened. This is an add-on for Firefox. And I'm going to show you a problem that I have with the uh, map. I know why it's happening. It's not a bug. It's actually an add-on pack. Uh, it's a problem with Debug Bar, which is a WordPress plugin, and how it mangles um, Ajax um, scripting, and, and uh, probably uh, due to the how I've written my Debug My Plugin um, hook to that. So, uh, but that's a different plugin that I'll play with later. So for now, what I've done is I've uh, been testing my Store Locator Plus site. And uh, this is just a standard Store Locator Plus install. And here we go. I've got my um, starting point in the center of the map. I know I've got locations close to me. So what I'm going to do is look for um, something within 25 miles of my current location. And it's not going to work. So I'm going to hit Find Locations. You can see it moves me to this correct address. Doesn't zoom in the map. Doesn't show anything. It just breaks. Um, so what I'm going to do to find out why it's breaking is I'm going to come up here to uh, Firebug and I'm going to turn on my console. It takes a second there for it to come up. So here's my console and the best way for me to find out what's going on is I like to use this net tab. I don't want to go through HTML and scripting and all that. I'm going to start with the network communication because the plugin talks to the server using Ajax and this is the best way to see what's going on. So here with the network tab enabled I should be able to hit find locations and I can see when I hit that button it's calling the Ajax on the server and I can actually look inside and see what's going on and this is how I find out uh, what the problems are with a lot of uh, sites out there with people that get a hold of me and say hey this doesn't work is I come right here and make sure that this Ajax call is being called that means that the JavaScript for the map has been loaded. The CSL.js has been loaded because of that call by hitting find locations and I can verify that on the script tab and there it is. So some people this doesn't load. The only reason this wouldn't load is that another uh, issue with the theme or another plugin is breaking the loading order of all the JavaScript that runs a site. So you can see all the other stuff that goes on here um, but this is the kind of starting point. Because I saw that the admin Ajax is coming up. I know the script's intact and it's firing off the call. And what I'm going to look at first is the post. What it's doing is it's calling Ajax and it's sending the address that I put in and it's uh, doing a data string on that and it's sending in the current latitude and longitude of this uh, location and telling it, hey, find everything within 25 miles. I don't have a name field and I don't have a tag field being sent to the back end. So it's everything within 25 miles of this latitude and longitude. So one of the things that a lot of people have a problem with is this radius is set to something like three miles. And then if you look up this uh, address here where this uh, latitude and longitude is, which is searchable in Google Maps, by the way, if you just type in those coordinates, uh, this might be in the center of the country or in the center of the state of California. And there's no locations within 25 miles. So how do I see what the server thinks uh, it's returning to us for locations? I go to response. And here is a JSON response right here that's formatted. And I can see, hey, guess what? It's coming back correctly. It's returning three locations. And it's showing all the locations and the data. And it's SQL and all this sort of stuff is built in here. But whoa, wait a minute. What's this? <laughs> Extra stuff. This doesn't look like JSON. And it's not. This is the debug bar I have turned on in my plugin is breaking the output. So this is not normal. If it's normal, you should see a JSON tab. If it's not normal, sometimes you'll see an error message down here. Maybe I created a bug. Uh, sometimes it's another plugin. I have seen that a lot where you'll see a error message here and it'll be throwing up an error from another plugin because something else took over Ajax incorrectly. Uh, so those are things to look for. 
So what does it look like normally? Well, let me go in here and turn off the thing that's breaking it, which is the debug bar. So in my plugins here, I know this is not handling Ajax correctly. I use debug bar to help um, when I'm doing code. Keeps my debugging messages out of the way. And let's go back to the site and test this now with debug bar turned off and this should work. And you'll see how this works. So I'm gonna do mount pleasant, here we go. Find everything within 25 miles, find locations. There it goes, it moved me to that address and it's bringing up the locations. So what does that look like here with the um, JSON request? And if we look at the network here, you can see it's loading up the page. Let's clear this out to make it a little easier. This is a bunch of preloading stuff. We're gonna clear this and I'm gonna do it again. Find locations. Posted to Ajax, this is what we're interested in. You can see it sent the same data. It gave me a JSON only response and because this is properly formatted JSON, I now have this tab which should be here. And in this tab I can see what's going on. And sometimes it will get this far in the process and I'll see, hey, it's returning zero, count is zero. That means, hey, nothing came up within um, the, the search query that, that uh, was posted. And you can actually see the database query that's happening in the background and what's coming back. And I can see in this case it's working. So I've got three items are supposed to come back. It's got a response with three items in it. And if I drill down through these, I can see here's the object being broken down for me by the browser. And this is how it will normally look. Here's all three locations with all the data that's coming back from the server. And when it's working, that's how it looks. And there's my map. The results are below. Everything's intact. So that's how you do a quick, hey, what might be going wrong and uh, debug your own site when this is not working. Um, usually if it's not working, you'll find something in that console uh, that's a problem. It could be another plugin, another error. Uh, one key thing to look at is this console tab and it will tell you, hey, there's a problem. This, in this particular case, it's a problem. This is actually from Google. I just know this, I've seen this a hundred times. What's happening is the Google um, script is firing off too fast because the page didn't load. And that's probably because uh, between running the video and doing a few other things in the background, uh, my scripts are not able to keep up on this particular box. But normally this would be um, no console errors. A lot of times if you go to console, you'll see a lot of errors in here from other plugins and themes. If other plugins and themes uh, break badly enough with some really um, serious errors in here, You'll see all sorts of things that are completely broken, and a lot of times if a script doesn't load all the way, uh, eventually the browsers will stop processing all scripts, and Store Locator Plus happens to load late in the process. Um, so if a lot of other plugins go haywire, it can impact uh, Store Locator Plus. In this case, it's a fairly benign uh, warning that's in there. So I'm gonna uh, ignore that for now, and you can see it functions uh, with that. So that's how to do uh, quick debugging with Firebug and Firefox to see what's going on with the maps. Thanks for using the product and uh, we'll catch you online again soon.